to me, this just seems like a lose lose situation. And we're going to talk about how the pandemic is going to affect the Miami Hurricanes, not only the football players, but us, the fans as well. What's up, guys? Welcome to ND TV. Canes, all Canes, all day. If you're rocking with the U, then you know what to do. Make sure you like and subscribe and join the family because, hey, you know, day by day, we're grinding out here to give you that Miami Hurricanes content. But today, Julio Frank, the president of Miami, was on CNN. They basically were just asking him a lot of different questions about the pandemic and about next season, what he thinks, and different things like that. And he gave a lot of different quotes. But the one quote that I definitely want to talk about is this one, where he says, Honestly, everything we do will have safety of the students as our top priority. If we don't feel safe, we won't do it. They will probably play in an empty stadium like so many other sports, but we hope to have a season and we hope to have a winning season. Damn right we hope to have a winning season. We just went and got De'Aaron King. We just went and got Red Lashley. We just got an offense that's ready to light up the scoreboard. And to be honest with you, most likely we won't have fans at the stadium. Now, I really want people to really think about this. At the beginning of this pandemic, I straight up told people, hey, I don't think we're going to have college football. I don't think we're going to have it. Now I see that we will have it, but it seems like there won't be fans. Even I said, hey, if we if we do have it and we don't have fans, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. As long as we have something to watch, I'll be excited. But I'll tell you one thing. It won't be the same. It will not be the same. And this is going to affect a lot of people. First, think about the people who hold season tickets. I myself, I do not. But a lot of people who subscribe to this channel, they do in fact hold season tickets. And they were planning on going to every game. What happened? What's going to happen now? You know, think about people who love to tailgate. Like me, I love my tailgate. And there ain't no tailgate like a Miami Hurricane tailgate because, honestly, it's one of the funnest things you could ever do. Everybody's cool. Everybody's kicking it. It's a great time. But now what do you do? And I was in the boat of saying, hey, as long as we have football, and I'll still be saying that, but, man, I was watching the Miami Hurricane Florida State Rivals. ESPN, they did a huge – uh, marathon on it. And if you go back and look at those games, no matter what was on the line, no matter what the record was, Miami versus Florida State, look at those stadiums. It's packed. Look, Listen to what happens when an interception is thrown. It's going crazy. Look at what's happening when a big play happens. And I just think, and I actually know that college football, what makes college football so amazing is us, the fans being a part of it, along with the athletes. You know, I've spoken to Evan Sheriffs, the former Miami Hurricane quarterback. I've talked to other athletes, and a lot of times they say, hey, when the when the crowd isn't, isn't juiced up, that takes away from some of our in, energy. So now, pe- these, what's gonna, how, how are people going to perform in a practice-like setting? That's something you got to think about, man. I wanted to get you guys on here to talk about this. Now, I do know what the NFL is going to be doing. If they have to do with no fans, which is most likely, what will happen is they're going to have sound simulators. So it, uh, so as we're watching the game on TV, it will, it will sound like there's fans in the stadium. But, you know, well, how is that going to sound with the players and things like that? I mean, you got to think about a lot of different things because I'm looking at it like this. Okay, if we can hear a lot of different things, will we be able to hear different audibles, different checks? You ever watch a game and a referee or a player accidentally gets into the referee's mic and starts cussing? (laughs) Uh, I think that's hilarious. Well, you're going to get to hear a lot more if we don't have fans, but... I really think this is a story that I really wanted to make a video on because Miami, just talking about the program, we were excited about this season. 
And I felt like a lot of people were going to come out into support. A lot of people were going to be excited to watch. But because of the pandemic, we won't be able to watch. You know, we just got the hot shot quarterback. According to some sites, a Heisman hopeful quarterback. We just got Rhett Lashley, somebody who wants to light the scoreboard up. He's saying he wants to score it in a blink of an eye. Blink, blink, touchdown, let's go. And we may not be there in person to see it. We may have to see it on a television. This is going to be crazy because my thing is, and they're saying that if you're a student, you're going to have to wear a mask on campus. It's going to be a lot of changes happening. And I just really wanted to talk about this. And I really want to know what you guys think. I mean, a lot of people, you already basically know that we're probably not going to have fans. But I'm making this video to really know what do you think about it. You know, are you in the boat where it's, hey, at least we're getting football? Or are you in the boat of college football in the same without fans? I'm in a boat where it just looks like it's a lose-lose, man. It's a lose-lose, but you best believe I'm going to be watching. So, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. I'm out. Much love. And as always, peace. No more defeats. Ah.